complain about the music industry at all. I'm an underground artist that does not complain. We just want people to know that the music will never die. We want to be a part of sharing that music and sharing as much as we can with everyone around the world. You know, people are consuming media, not just radio and television, but media in a different way. And I feel like one of the biggest things that I have to bring to the table that is undeniable is my ability to understand that. That's what I'm really excited about, is giving the consumer something that they've never had before, introducing them to something that they've never seen, heard, maybe never thought was possible, in a luxurious way. No matter where you are in the world, like we have the ability and the blessing to be able to share with each other. Luxurious Underground is radio programming that is not based on the commercial music that's out there. An outlet for artists that are really talented but not commercially given an outlet. The mainstream platforms don't necessarily offer that for just every person. So we see that there's many of people out there and many of you out there wanting to share that with everyone else but perhaps don't know how to do it or how to go about it. People talk about music. They say, music is dying and this is gone. If you're on the internet and you're searching for it, you can find it. There's artists like me everywhere. You can find it. And what we're going to do is we're going to put that out there for people to grasp. You'll be able to find that music on Luxurious Underground, that music that your soul's been seeking. It's really multifaceted, just like all three of us, you know? It's adding depth and um, vision to something that most people only see in a one-dimensional way. You never know what I'm bringing to the show. I'm a mom, so I think rationally at times. I'm an artist, so I'm completely out of the box. I'm a single woman, so that makes me a little horny. We are coming to you live from Miami on July 14th. Do not miss it. You're gonna love it. Mata, Teacher Moses, Vanessa James. It gets no better, darling. It gets no better. Check us out. Music, radio, and more. This is Luxurious Underminds. Yes, 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 yes. Another What's episode, good, another week. Oh my gosh. So exciting. Back in the building, another week. As you can see, we're down one. Mrs. Tedra Moses on tour. Yep, Shout out to Tedra Moses. She's doing big things, man. She just finished recording. So excited about it. A project with Wale. You know, obviously, she's the first lady. She's the madam. Is she? I don't. Is that, no, how she's the madam. first lady. She's the, the first, first lady, lady of the goddess. Yeah, let's totally scratch that I, one, guys. I, I, She's the first lady of Maybach Music yes. Group, right? Not the madam, yeah. There was another <laughs> word, though. Anyway, the goddess, right, Fly Guy? Yes, the goddess of Maybach is... Music. And she's, she's got dope music on the way, hence the reason she's not with us today. She's on tour, so make sure you check out tdramoses.net, where you can find everything that's going on with T. Yep. Big stuff popping. I had a chance to listen to a couple records, and they're dope, so get ready. She's out doing her thing. We're yeah. about to go into one of her tracks. We're going to go into something off of Complex Simplicity. Yes. Actually, it's the title track, right? Yeah, it's Complex Simplicity. It's an oldie but a goodie, a throwback. So Fly Guy's going to get into that. We're actually going to feature the video for you as well this week. So check this out. Enjoy and welcome to Luxurious Underground. We're talking about Complex Simplicity. <laughs>
is complex simplicity. We have to toast that because that's probably one of my favorite. And I know yours too. I feel uh, like a lot of people fell in love with her after complex simplicity. Do you not? It was, I mean, for me, I'm not going to lie. Can I, can I be really honest? Don't judge me. So I was looking at this show, Noah's Ark. It's about these gay black men. And I get really involved. It was on Logo. And it was actually featured. Um, her, her, her record was featured on there. And um, I was like, who is this chick? This is about five years ago. And I, you know, I was more intrigued by her, obviously, because it was on Logo, and they, it, it wasn't the best production. Long story short, I'm like, who is this girl? So I did a little research and found out, wow, she's pretty dope, and she's been out doing you know, her thing for a while, so I didn't even realize that Be Your Girl was the record. I actually ordered it from Amazon. I'm like, let me go download and order this. I, I, didn't, I didn't, you know, download illegally, I ordered it. Anyway, so, um, I actually got a hold of Complex Simplicity. Had a girls' weekend. You didn't come to the girls' weekend. No, I didn't. We got to work on that. You, but you were invited. Are you sure? <laughs> anyway, and everybody fell in love with that album. So it's it's a really good album. I still have it. It's I don't know what it is about it, but I don't know if you feel this way too, Fly Guy. But it's one of those albums that it's been you know out for quite some time, almost ten years now, and it's still as soon as you put it in, it's, it it just sets the mood and it has that vibe. So it's be classic. your girl for me and last day. Probably is my favorite. I can rock it. It just sets the mood, especially like if it's raining out and there's champagne in the room. No. I'm on it. And to that, we toast again. <laughs> champagne soul is what we're calling the show tonight. So make sure and check in with us. She's into the toasting. <laughs> I'm toasting. into the drinking. She's into the toasting. Toasting. But we're on to a Tidra tip. Yeah. Tidra's not here with us. We miss you. We love you. Yes. You know, she's doing her artistry. Yeah. Yes. She's definitely doing her thing. Love the luxurious underground mixtape. Yes. Uh, one of my favorite tracks on that tape has to be. Are you for real? Oh my God, no, no, no. I love all of them, but I really love, oh, To Hell With Love. Ooh, to Hell With Love, yeah, I know, I'm with shit? a big smile. Why you say To Hell With shit? Love. <laughs> but it is, it's such a great track. And like for anyone who may not know, I know all y'all are Tidra fans, but you know, just the fact that she writes her own music. Yeah, that it's amazing. She's so creative, like she's true to her art. Like really, you have to give respect for that. And that's what we're here for, to really respect everybody's yeah, mind. Absolutely. Everybody who's true artists, and they're really trying to dedicate themselves to this life, yeah. you know, to this life of expression. Yeah. So that's really important to me yeah what are we getting into all next? right we're gonna get into mr kendrick lamar this dude's got a buzz like a serious buzz right now i don't know what it is he's popping up everywhere um and it's funny because we didn't teacher's like a huge fan of his she's been on her kendrick lamar for a, a while and she, she, often she puts us on to underground artists but she put me on to this dude and it's one of those things again you listen to it and you're like damn it's on the way home, and uh, I, I gotta pop in some Kendrick yeah. Lamar. He's got like a serious buzz, and now I know why, because his music is dope. No, he's definitely dope. a skilled rapper, straight out of Compton, Cali, so you know this. Ow! Something thug, champagne going so on thug. there. Yeah, so let's get into this Wanna Be Heard <laughs> by Kendrick Lamar. Yes. I'm just a good kid from Compton that wanna rap. I don't represent no colors, I represent my little sisters and brothers. I'm the oldest nigga. And if you can't respect that, your whole perspective is whack. Check it out. I used to want to rap like Jay-Z until I finally realized that Jay wasn't me. I took my time to jot down every line that's supportable. Critics say I don't be killing this shit, but I know I do. Because I used to practice early morning and then after school. I'm working on my hooks, my nigga. I ain't trying to battle you. But even if I did, I guarantee I overshadow you. Like a fucked up table that turned to a bowl cut. I'm a close cut to combine Gucci man. Now that's a comparison that you probably wouldn't understand. Because I can touch the people and still keep it ghetto. Was an 80s at Regal with the tree airbrush and on the rear view mirror. I wear a heart on my shoulder. Remember when we used to make the boosters like Motorola? Your cousin fucked up your room every time he came over. Then went to jail when we got older. That shit is a bad odor, but still I remain focused in due time. I'll be here with a swipe my card and it won't say decline. That shit's embarrassing, huh? Hope no one pay you no mind, but it's a bad bitch behind you while you standing in line. Can you relate to my story? Can you follow my dreams and admirations that I had ever since I was 13? My mama believed in me. She let me use her fan to go to the studio even though she know her tank is empty that's who i do it for my pops got a different approach yeah he believe but he always question when i'ma drop my david cd how long this go take nigga you still haven't ate nigga at 22 i had two cars in my own place nigga it's a sacrifice i try to tell him that's when he turned to bet and tell me that he jealous of all these niggas getting money and they shit don't sound like shit i ain't trying to kill your confidence or forcing you to quit i just want to hear you heard yep yep that's my word make a statement with these nouns and verbs i represent the nigga that's Pour out on the curve. Listen to my nouns and verbs. Man, I wanna be heard. Like a cat with sheep while y'all sleep. I be up cooking up all day. Like a mad scientist in a laboratory. And 
What the fuck, what the critic gotta say? I'ma be heard. What up, design? I ain't forgot, nigga. You develop me, telling me how it's hot, nigga. You believed in me first, that's what's for sure. At the church, recorded, had the garage, but it worked. But me and Dave kind of felt you lost the passion. A lot was going on in your life, and you needed space. But still, I should have came to you first to tell you what happened. But I was 17 and figured it's best I stay away, and I was wrong. I was young and couldn't look you in the eye for what I done. But I'm telling you, we ain't done. Matter of fact, how's your sons? What they up to? Remember they used to run around while you had worked on Pro Tools? People I used to be in the booth to four in the morning with school in the morning yawning. But I was on it. Me, you, and Dave was on it. Buzzing like Charlotte Hornets when that tape drop. Where them beats, nigga? It's been five years since we had rock. Time to be heard. Yep, yep, that's my word. Make a statement with these nouns and verbs. I represent the nigga that's poured out on the curve. Listen to my nouns and verbs. Man, I want to be heard. Like a cat with sheep while y'all sleep. I be up cooking up all day like a mad scientist. And 